I know it's hard to believe, but Windows Notepad actually has a subscription now. As a Windows user, I'm actually a little worried because there are some new features that I actually use on daily basis. And now something is indicating that those features might also become a subscription based services. What I'm trying to say here is that it's not just affecting the Windows Notepad. Slowly, all the Windows applications will or might have subscription based features. So let me actually show you guys. So this is Notepad. This is a default text editor. It's it just works and I use it. This is a outro for my uh, website. So the other day I saw this new icon here. So this thing is basically a AI feature in Notepad. So it can use AI to rewrite or you can uh, make it shorter, longer, change tone, change format. You know, it, it's a cool feature. Okay, I was like, okay, uh, let's try to, you know, rewrite this. Maybe AI will have something better than this. Okay, so I was like, let's do it. Let's rewrite. Rewriting text with Copilot. Now, here is the thing. I was like shocked. When this feature was first announced, I think it was for the uh, Windows preview builds. At that time, it was completely free feature. I saw many people making video on this and talking about like this new AI feature is free, but now it's also available in stable version. And guess what? You can't use this unless you subscribe to a Microsoft 365. Just to use that feature, I'll have to subscribe to the Microsoft uh, 365. We can just say that now Notepad is also a part of Microsoft 365. Now, here is the thing. I know some people will say, you don't need this or just don't use it. Yeah, okay. I mean, the feature is here. Uh, we can use third party AI chatbots to rewrite stuff, you know, all we can do everything for free using other AI chatbots. Since this is a feature built into Notepad, it would be much easier if you use Notepad. I doubt that people actually use Notepad to write things on it. They probably use something better, Notepad++ or something, but I actually use Notepad. I don't write much in this, but I'm just talking about the feature. And this is kind of worry. Let me show you guys two more examples. This is another application from Microsoft. Also completely free, just like Notepad. And it also has new features, like uh, you can remove background from the images, Okay, you can create a images. Uh, I made many videos on this, but now guess what? This thing is also a subscription based feature now. You can't use it for free anymore. Yeah, this is the same thing. You'll have to subscribe to a uh, Microsoft 360. If you're already a subscriber, yeah, you can use it for free. But if you are not a subscriber, of Microsoft 365, then you can't use it. Let's just say you only want to use this feature, don't want to pay for the 365, there is no choice. Image creator in uh, Paint isn't that great. We can always use some free text to image editor, but here we can edit and you know it's convenient uh, for us to create an image here and also edit and all that, whatever you want to do. But now I can't use it because I don't have Microsoft 365 subscription. Now, let me show you guys another example, okay? So, I also use Microsoft Photos app, actually. I love this application. It also has AI features, okay? And for now, these AI features are actually free. Even Notepad's AI feature was free for a limited time. Now it's uh, subscription-based, so I'm, kind of worried that these features might also become a subscription based features. To be honest, I don't use Microsoft Office. I actually use online version if I have to, or I use the Google Docs. I don't know how do I put it together. So here is the thing. These things are basically becoming a part of Microsoft 365. If you don't want to use Microsoft 365 subscription, you don't have it or you just don't want to use it. These features just won't work for you. Plus it's just a bloat for you. You can't even remove them. This is a simple application which had nothing to do with Microsoft account. No, nothing. But now slowly it's just, I don't know what to say. 
like it's free yeah it's it's free but the new features that microsoft is putting out there <laughs> are becoming premium basically you'll have to pay if you want to use them again as i said i really like some of the new features in windows especially the you know uh, background removal and erase feature basically you can re remove unwanted uh, things from your images and all that and it's a ai feature yeah i get it and now microsoft is using these features to make people subscribe to microsoft 365 i'm not too sure about the microsoft photos apps ai features since they have done this with like literally like simplest app in windows notepad like now they have the you know, subscription uh, for ai feature in it i think most people don't even care about this they can use something else they don't have to use it if it was free i mean yeah we can use it since this is not free i'm pretty sure most people just don't care about it but this indicates something yeah microsoft is cooking something <laughs> basically they're trying to make most of the new windows features part of microsoft 365 if you want to use them you'll have to pay for it even if you don't use microsoft office applications yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye